tonight. Thank you, Superintendent, board members. Um, it gives me great pleasure this evening to come before you asking you to pass this resolution. We heard in the public hearing that there were no incidents of students being without textbooks. We have at our IMC no outstanding requests for materials. So I, I truly, truly am grateful to say that um, all students have all books in their hands. And I do want to give out some thanks, just to keep you going. Um, this year we now have a full-time IMC clerk, and having someone work eight hours a day focused on that has really assisted. We also had a great crew that came in and worked uh, part-time during the summer to help us with inventory. And then, last but not least, we had Terry Ryan in maintenance do some research for us and discovered um, a tagging project. So all over the summer, all of our current textbooks and then any new ones that we ordered were tagged so um, we can now really maintain an inventory. Now that all books are in hand with students' art, IMC clerk is going to cite some of the next two weeks to organize their individual inventories. Um, there's a lot of books, a lot of book rooms, and it's taken a while, but we've got a handle on it. So I'm happy to be here, and I'm happy to read this resolution for your consideration. Resolution number 2015, 16-01, Sufficiency of Instructional Materials Compliance, 2015-16 school year. Whereas the governing board of Salina City Elementary School <coughs> District, in order to comply with the requirements of Education Code 60119, held a public hearing on September 14, 2015, at 6.30 p.m., which is on or before the eighth week of school, which did not take place during or immediately following school hours. And whereas the governing board provided at least 10 days notice of the public hearing posted, in at least three public places within the district that stated the time, place, and purpose of the hearing, and whereas the governing board encouraged participation by parents, teachers, members of the community, and bargaining unit leaders in the public hearing, and whereas information provided at the public hearing and to the governing board at the public meeting detailed the extent to which textbooks and instructional materials were provided to all students, including English learners in the district, and whereas the definition of sufficient textbooks or instructional materials means that each student, including English learners, has a textbook or instructional materials or both to use in class and to take home. And whereas between 2008-09 through the 2015-16 fiscal years, the definition of sufficient textbooks or instructional materials also means that all students who are enrolled in the same course within the uh, Salinas City Elementary School District Monterey County Office of Education have standards aligned textbooks or instructional materials from the same adoption cycle. And whereas sufficient textbooks and instructional materials were provided to each students, including English learners, that are aligned to the academic content standards and consistent with the, the cycles and content of the curriculum frameworks in the following subjects, mathematics, Eureka Math, copyright 2015 English, Engaged New York, copyright 2014 Spanish, Science, Macmillan, McGraw Hill, California Science, K through 6, History Social Science, Scott Forsman, History Social Science, California, K 5, and Precious Hall, Ancient Civilizations, 6th grade. English Language Arts, Houghton Mifflin, Legacy of Literature, K through 6. Whereas sufficient textbooks or instructional materials were provided to each student enrolled in foreign language or health classes, and therefore it is resolved that for the 2015-2016 school year, Salina City Elementary School District has provided each student in each school with sufficient textbooks and instructional materials aligned to the academic content standards and consistent with the cycles and content of the curriculum framework. Questions? Well, let's hope this year is better than last year. After we passed this, we found out there were multiple schools, multiple uh, kids are without textbooks. Let's hope. Is that a question? <laughs> no, that was a comment. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah. Yeah. Spartans, uh, you're next. Uh, I do have a question. Uh, but now that they're being tagged, though, what what's the policy to make sure that the students return them, and what's the consequence if they don't, if they lose them? That is, um, now that they're tagged, I will tell you that we know that each student has one, but they aren't tagged by a, a code number or assigned to a student. So a student would report it missing and they would be um, charged with a replacement cost. Of course, if the student couldn't make that cost, the replacement cost, then um, other arrangements would be made. Okay, because I know that's a big issue. We have millions of dollars of books that disappear. So, so we, we make an attempt to retrieve the Oh the yes, at all, all sites, uh, they do make an attempt. But we do not have, like they do in the high school, um, a system where individual books are essentially checked out by individual students. Um, that does, of course, make, um, it's, it's, it's possible when you're dealing with 7th through 12th graders, but when you're dealing with kindergartners through 6th graders, it's, um, uh, it, it's problematic. Will there be any uh, orientation for the parents before the books are distributed? The books have already been distributed. Students have um, all the books in their hands right now. Is there a check and balance that type of uh, program? We know that all yeah. students have them, and so as they lose them, that's brought to the teacher's attention. And then, generally speaking, we try to work with the student to, to locate it. Um, I know as a principal and as a teacher, called parents um, and then try to see if the, um, as I said, the, the child could, uh, the parents could cover a replacement cost. Mm -hmm. What's the going rate? It really, really depends. Some of our books we have consumables that would vary 20 to $25, but if you're looking at um, a language arts textbook or a science textbook, it's more in the range of 60 to $75, $80. Thank you. Okay. Any other questions? Board? No? Any questions from the public at all about this item? Say none. Okay. 